What's up everybody, Garrick here, and I just wanted to hop in before the video actually starts and let you guys know that we do have more of these available in our Discord server. So join, be active, and you can watch more videos like this. Greetings, legends. It is Nick and Garrick here with another debunking screen rants, terrible, terrible lists. And for those of you who don't know, we have a couple other episodes of this out, but these lists are not good, and we feel like uh, it's our moral and civic duty to debunk them. So today we're taking a look at every god in the MCU ranked from weakest to most overpowered. And no doubt, there's going to be some entries in here that are mind-baffling. Now, we haven't actually taken a look at this list yet. Uh, it's funner for us if we take a look at them first with you guys as we go because it allows our reactions to be a little bit more genuine these lists are so comically bad for anybody even remotely familiar with power scaling that we just had to do our civic duty and rank these so with that being said garrick why don't you take it away you're the one in control of the screen as it stands sure so now if you saw our video where we debunked their villains from weakest to strongest they had some weird rules that they were setting in that that made no sense, but decided to label it as weakest to strongest. So I just want to make sure here that this is actually like physical power. Um, it does look like they're talking about just pure strength. So um, strength. what they quantify or qualify as a god, I don't really know. But clearly it's going to be Asgardians and at least Dormammu, who's probably last based on their previous list. So let's take a look. All right. We have the collector here at number 15. Sure. Uh, hold on. I thought this list was called gods. <laughs> I mean, did I miss something? Is the collector a god? I I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, he's he's one of Hold the on. elders, can, I guess. Can we can we take a look at the intro? So, uh, can we take a look at the intro just real quick? I wanted to make sure that it says random ass MCU characters <laughs> and and not gods. I, I don't collector know. is not a god. Uh, uh, he's well. They also have the grandmaster even... here. So okay. I mean. Well, We'll here give we it go. to them. We're... I mean, it right, says right fine. here, elders aren't technically gods, but we didn't have enough people here, so we're going to put them on the list. Okay, Collector, okay. sure, he has no strength feats. He has no stated feats at all, so he can be yeah, here. He's just rich. That's Same it. thing with the Grandmaster. Although, I, I'm going to go ahead and say the Collector could probably whoop Grandmaster in a battle, but that's just me. Are you me. kidding me, dude? That's Dr. Ian Malcolm. Life uh, finds a way. So we have Peter Quill on problem. here. Find um, okay, all right. All right, so if we're going like celestials on here, Peter Quill was a half celestial for a little bit there. You shouldn't have killed my mom and squished my Walkman. Uh, he was pretty strong. He definitely would whoop either of these two, so I'm going to go ahead and say sure at number 13. Like, I don't really okay, have anything so else to say about Let's be honest. This. Right off the bat, if you're not taking into account that no one on this list except for Peter Quill is a god so far, not a bad list. <laughs> not a not a bad list so um, far this is the best list that we've looked at so we know the celestials are super super powerful obviously they're able to hold on to infinity stones something that the collector states only the most powerful beings in the universe can do so clearly peter quill as a half celestial is very very strong especially after his powers are unlocked he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with his father which is uh, like planetary at least um so yeah i mean he's strong Sif would never even touch Peter Quill as a, as a full Celestial, but sure. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, I don't think you're wrong at all. I think that Peter, you know, Peter doesn't know any of his abilities. He only gets to use them for a little bit in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I think that realistically, and I, I just want to make a case for this person, because normally we immediately shit on these lists, but I think that Sif probably can take Peter Quill. If Sith Sif was to fight Peter Quill post Ego's death, she she immediately well, beats yeah, him. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> she's she's as guardian. She's super strong. She's super fast. She's thousands of years old with a, a tremendous amount of battle experience, way more than Peter Quill. But if Ego's alive, Peter kills her because of the fact that he can't die and he has god level powers. So yeah, easy I mean, peasy. I I pretty sure he can't can't die as long as uh, Ego is alive. But I. I could be wrong. He's at least large planet level, though, and Sif's not anywhere near planet level. So yeah. it's like, what are you going to do here? So anyway, we have Valkyrie at number 11, sure. Again, Celestial Peter Quill is way stronger than both of these characters. I just want to make that abundantly clear, but Valkyrie is definitely stronger than Sif. So I have no problem with this 
ranking here. And and just for those of you who who might not remember, Valkyries were the highest ranking warriors. I guess you could, warriors you could put it in Odin, Odin's army uh, until they were defeated all by Hela. So yeah, it's entirely possible that that Valkyrie beats everybody on this list so far. She was very powerful. She doesn't have a, as much screen time as some of the other people in the MCU, but she's a very strong character. Yep. Valkyrie, all right. Okay. Get the oh, fuck out of here. Right. Surter at 10. I thought he was going to be number two. <laughs> yeah, I Yeah. I mean, he, he should be way higher. So le- I, I want to get the reasoning. I like to see what their reasoning is because- I don't. Fuck them. <laughs> it's never it's never correct. <laughs> In Norse mythology, Surter uh, was a guardian of a moose with oh, fire oh, realm, oh, blah, oh, blah, okay. blah, 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 Harbinger of Ragnarok, blah, 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 blah. okay, so they don't- they don't give us any feats, but I'll give you some feats. Surtur was only ever defeated by Odin. There's a feat for you with his eternal flame. He uh, destroyed Asgard. Uh, he defeated Hela, who no doubt is going to be higher on this list. Yep. So right there. It's I mean... ridiculous. You, you, you have a list. <laughs> Hela's going to be higher on this list. He's, <laughs> Surtur, Did you Surtur, watch Ragnarok? Surtur would have been able to beat Thor would have been able to beat Hela. All of these characters, Hulk, he's he's Valkyrie, yeah, yeah, he's Loki. he's stronger than all of these people. Combined. But the fact that he lo- he I mean he literally dies because he kills himself. Yeah. So GG's. Sorry, sorry, number 10. Like entry level, all you have to do is watch Ragnarok to know that Surtur's above uh Thor, Hulk, and Hela and Loki, which most of those characters are probably going to be on this list. So what do you want? What, what do you want from me? I don't know, man. Because number nine, we have Loki right here. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. All right. I, I mean, I think that I think that Loki is is stronger than everybody on this list, with the exception of of uh, probably. Sir you know, I, honestly, I don't even, Peter Quill. I don't. I don't know if Loki could beat either of those two. No, he could. I, no, I don't. I don't know if he could even no beat. I don't, I don't even know if think Loki he could, beat, could Valkyrie. beat Valkyrie. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was trying to get to. I don't think he could beat Valkyrie. I mean, he's the god of mischief in the comic books. He's much more powerful than he is in the MCU, but everything that he does in the MCU is a failure, so I just don't see how he's this high. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. He, he pretty much loses to everybody underneath him, and you could probably make a case that he loses to Sif, but we're not going to do that here. He yeah. definitely is not stronger than Surtur. No, not even close. If he was stronger than Surtur, then Loki would have just stopped Hela because that would make him stronger than Hela. Well, that was that was in Ragnarok too when Loki one shot Surtur. Oh, true, true. Using the Infinity Staff. That was right after Iron Man four, where Obadiah is staying one shot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, gotcha. That's just a little callback to our other episodes. <laughs> All right, so... Get the Hellas at number eight. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to know who the other gods are because clearly they're pulling gods out of their ass with the Grandmaster yeah, this is and the crazy. Collector. But yeah. we already know that Hellas. Are we confirmed... going to assume that Thanos is a god? Yeah, you know, like... I mean, maybe. Um... Hella kills every single person in Asgard by herself easily including all of the valkyries she's only her she's i said this in other in other videos she is the superman of asgard as long as asgard exists she is as powerful as she can ever be like she has an unlimited battery of abilities she cracks mjolnir open without even thinking about it she is a absolute freight train of power to have her this low on the list is insane yeah. It's absolutely insane. She's only ever been defeated by two characters. Because, One because of them, you know, Odin. The yeah. other is Surtur, who's two spots lower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's uh, insane. Surtur beats her, and he's she's higher than him. Yeah. Who the fuck wrote this? What kind of <laughs> clown college did you go to on power rankings? All right. So next we have Dormammu. And at least, like, this is a terrible spot to put him at because he's stronger than every other god that's going to be on this list by like a way, way higher margin. Like the character literally eats the mentions for breakfast. It's not even close and it's embarrassing that he's this low, but at least he's not as low as he was on the other list. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. it's it's astounds. Uh, I just want to hear the logic that they use or that somebody would say that Thor or some of these other characters, even Odin, could take on Dormammu. 
insanely powerful. There's nothing that he can't do. He is able, like, think of a power. He has it. He has every single ability. The only reason that he ever loses to somebody is he loses to Doctor Strange because Doctor Strange has the ultimate Deus Ex Machina ability. He has the Time Stone, so he just traps him in this this time loop. Dormammu doesn't lose to him. He just gets. He just does what every teenage boy who's around the age of fourteen or fifteen does. He rage quits. He's like, I don't have time for this shit. I'm gonna go eat some other dimension. Yeah, I'll Bye. go destroy some other dimension. When you're dead, I'll come back and kill yours. Is that fine? Because I'm a literal uh, immortal being that that cannot die. So I mean, yep. I'm just gonna come back and, and eat your dimension when I feel like it. Because time is pretty much nothing to me. So, <laughs> all right, we have Thor at number six. Seems low. Seems low. Seems low. But. Again, he should be under Dormammu, and he should be under Hela, and he should yeah. be under Surtur. So, yeah. I say, guess... <laughs> we're working on Thor at least in fourth place, but because the of the placement of some of these other characters, it's hard to even rationalize that there's five other gods in the MCU above him. But sure, fuck it. Let's see who else is up there. Is there <laughs> is there any caveat here? Does it say, like, this is, is Thor with Mjolnir, not Stormbreaker? Is there two Thors? Because... If not, I don't know who else is stronger than him, other than those other people that we listed already. Odin, Dormammu, Hela, clearly stronger than Um, Surtur as well. So maybe this list was made before Infinity War? Uh, When we last left Thor, he had been hot on the trail of the Infinity Stones until he was captured. First by Surtur, then the Grand Master. All right, so this this list looks like it's before Infinity War, but regardless, uh, that makes this placement even worse because he got bodied by hella who got bodied by surter yep. so he doesn't even have stormbreaker to make the case like oh now he's stronger than hella like if he had stormbreaker during ragnarok he would have won no you can't put him here when he lost to that character on exactly. screen exactly <laughs> I mean, I think if Thor had Stormbreaker, he could have probably beat Hela, and he definitely could have beat Surtur, considering the fact that he has a god weapon that was made for the King of Asgard. But uh, yeah, at, at this state of now knowing where what we know about the list, having him higher than some of these other characters, it, not only is it is it dumb, it's irresponsible. It's like you didn't <laughs> even do your research. <laughs> you know? There are kids out here believing this list. I know. There could be there could be other YouTube channels out there right now using this list to validate their opinions, yeah. coming into our comment section, attacking us, and then we're gonna slap them down with facts. They're probably gonna get depressed and quit. You know, I mean, we don't want to be the, the cause of that. We want to we want to inspire hope, <laughs> like Superman. All right, so next we have Odin, uh, which okay, whatever. I, I'm gonna but... I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt because they may have pulled some people out of their ass again that could be stronger than Odin. But just to rattle off some feats from my big boy Odin here, who dominated the Nine Realms, defeated Hela, who defeated Thor, uh, and a Valkyrie, and, and kind of the Hulk, Fenris. But, I mean, he locked Fenris away as well. He also defeated Surtur, who had his Eternal Flame, and Surtur defeated Hela, who defeated all of those other characters. And he also has a bunch of other stated feats that are, like, ridiculous, but... The character is is so powerful. He might be one of the strongest characters that we've ever seen, and I'm pretty sure he slaps everyone on this list besides Dormammu uh, that we've seen thus far. So, I mean, it's right to put him this high, but he shouldn't be above Dormammu, I don't think. I can't think of four people that are going to be stronger I, than him. I can't I can, either. <laughs> I can think of, I can think of of just one Dormammu, but let's yeah. see who else is on this list. Yeah, Odin. I mean, he's really high, but he's definitely not high enough, I don't think. Ego? Ego! Okay. So, I'm pretty sure Surtur probably slaps Ego. Uh, Odin definitely slaps. I don't think Thor can. Thor with Stormbreaker probably can. Dormammu definitely does. Hela, maybe? Yeah, actually, I think Hela could. Um, yeah, I mean, you if we're given Hela that... stronger than Thor, then yeah, she definitely can. But uh, Thor without Stormbreaker, I don't think can beat. Like Ego, Ego's but... really, really strong, but he has a really, really wide open weakness that's like at his core. Um, and I don't actually, think he actually... deals any meaningful damage to some of these upper level characters like Odin or Hela or Surtur. Like I don't think there's anything he could possibly make on his planet that's going to stop them. Yes, if Surtur if Surtur can defeat uh can destroy all of Asgard, it's again 
irresponsible to think that he couldn't just stab Ego in his fucking heart and end it. That's the end game there. Like, Ego's you're bigger than Asgard, but but still. I mean, I guess you could head headcanon your way to put Ego up here, but I don't think he has any feats that that's are going to quantify him being up here. He's definitely upper yeah, echelon. Not close. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, and I, I think you could make a good case that he would beat uh, Hela... Or that he could beat Surtur, but there's no case you could make that he beats Dormammu or Odin, I don't think. Yep. So, I put him top five, I guess, but above Odin and above Dormammu, not a chance. Thanos is not a god, but whatever, here he is. And he's number three, somehow. Um, what I mean, yeah, I mean what here do we have to say the, here? I think here does, Prime Odin strong. <laughs> it's been relegated to cameo roles, so we know where they're at here. Thanos is a very powerful being he's not a god um the fact that he's on this list is kind of stupid but Before whatever he even has I the think, infinity gauntlet <laughs> yeah i think that thanos thanos is a very good uh planner he's a very good tactitianer i think with the infinity gauntlet he can probably beat anybody on this list but except uh for dormammu yeah except for well, dormammu actually, that's you know we talked it, about it, this it, but yeah, with the time again, stone it, he could it, it, it depends but um yeah definitely with the time stone he could but uh I just don't know uh, that. Th I mean, Thanos isn't a god, so he's disqualified him automatically by that. <laughs> Thanos, I guess, is number three. Uh, the Celestials. What is this? What do you mean the Celestials? You can't just put the Celestials on here as a list and then just. <laughs> well, the just... Pro the problem with this they I've vary in power. You have two other Celestials that are below number two. So <laughs> the the problem that you have with Celestials even being on this list is that. You know, you've only seen one of them, so you have you're you're lumping an entire race of beings into the top of this list, and you're saying they're all powerful. Well, we don't know. Well, because we two of them got one. smacked down by pretty easily. We did you know? see one in a scene during Guardians of the Galaxy with yeah, the Power yeah. Stone, but um, I forget his name. Uh, okay, if you're lumping all of the Celestials into one category, yeah, fair. They're they're pretty strong. I don't know how how much how strong they actually are, but they're they're probably pretty strong. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, whatever. The Watchers. Sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you have no way to quantify this or. This is so make... stupid. <laughs> this, this has. Th there's no bearing for this to be here. Uh -huh. You saw them in a, in a two second clip talking to Stan Lee, and there's no feats that they have in the MCU to quantify what you're saying here. Yeah. The only thing that you could possibly say is comic book related. But there's nothing in the MCU that stands that would make them even remotely close to as powerful as you're you're making it out to be. <laughs> so let's recap here. Number one is bullshit. Number two is bullshit. Number three is bullshit because Infinity War isn't out as far as this list is concerned. Number f number uh, four, I guess you can make the case that Ego's up here. I, I think you can do you definitely do that. Yeah. Uh, Odin, too low. Thor, way too high. Dormammu should be number one. Hella yep. should be much higher. Loki should be much lower. Surtur should be in the top five. Two. No, Surtur's number two. I think it's. No, no, I think. No, no. It, I think it goes two. number Dormammu, three. Sorry. Odin, I think it goes. Surtur. Yeah, I think it goes. Dormammu, Odin, Surtur, Hella. I think that's the only logical reasoning that you can make. And then after that is ego, because I I realistically think that that Hella probably defeats ego. I think everybody above Hella defeats ego. Yeah. Um, so Surtur is the, the biggest issue on here. Valkyrie, I think, is fine there. Sif is fine there. Um, but Peter Quill should be bumped up above Sif, above Valkyrie, not above Surtur, but above Loki. Um, and I think that's probably where he should sit. And then the, you know, the first two aren't gods. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's the list. It's terrible. Just like we said it would be. But this isn't like it's laughably terrible. But number one and number two are just like. Uh -huh, I bet you didn't see this coming. Yeah. Gotcha. This is the kind of thing that people make when they just want to, I mean, I, I don't even know if you're, you're making a list to appease fans or just to get like some clickbait going on, but this is just, it's irresponsible list making screen rant. You're better than this. Even somebody who watches the films should have been able to tell you that your entire list were bullshit. So <laughs> I don't know who's writing these lists. It has to be somebody who's like, reads the feats of these characters on wikipedia and doesn't understand what they're reading and then ranks them from there like that's the only the only way i could possibly understand the way that these lists are generated yeah 
I mean, all right. There, well, there you, there you go. <laughs> so, all right. So that being said, this list is bullshit. Uh, this has been Nick and Garrick. We appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. We're going to do more of these. They're fun for us. Uh, we're not really looking to get, you know, crazy views or start crap with other channels. This, these are just fun because, we like to do power scaling videos. We take our how powerful is videos. We take our versus videos relatively seriously. We try to do a good bit of research, but whenever stuff like this comes out, it kind of um, like devalues the entire community of people that are doing power scaling stuff. So that's kind of why we wanted to do these, make a couple videos, hopefully make a couple of people laugh at the absurdity of this. So we hope that you guys got a quick chuckle out of this, but that is about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Nick and Garrick and remember the motto comics over everything. Bye-bye.